Good morning. Today is our second day. Well, our full, you know, second day in um, Tobago. <laughs> we are going on a tour of the island. Um, at the moment, we are trying. Oh, actually, look at my outfit. My top is not ironed, but I don't actually care. I'm trying to protect myself from the sun because my shoulders are stinging from last from yesterday's swim and Kelly's face is stinging. Yes. So um, anyway, we've... Um, mom, is yours? Well, you're all stinging. Your <laughs> whole body's stinging. Your whole body. <laughs> Mum's mom's got heat rashes. Well, no. Yeah. My lip is literally everywhere. Oh, no. Oh, See that? baby. Goodness. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got pumpkin bread. So I'm going to try this for the first time. That's why it's nice, it tastes a bit like hardo bread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, but softer. Like, no, hardo bread's softer. Hardo bread's softer. Well, yeah. It's, I'm not it feels softer than hardo. I don't think I'm tasting hardo much. Hardo has a hard kind of... No, it no. doesn't. It does. Right, well... <laughs> Bye. Bye, <laughs> see you next time. I found it all there. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh. Just a little uh, great Tobago welcome. I know you would have had that before, right? We haven't actually had it. Nobody tell you welcome to Tobago? <laughs> wow, I have, to, I have to talk to those people who treat me. <laughs> okay. uh, my name is Chris Conwin Ferry. I'm mostly called by Chris. I will go by my initial CP. Okay. Right, I'm a tour guide. I've been a taxi driver from since 1992. Don't ask me who I am. I look really up to my age. That's what I said. Right? I've been a taxi driver from since 1992, and I became an official licensed tour guide in 2015. Right? But prior to me becoming an official tour guide, I was doing the same job I was doing before I got the certification. Right? So practically, I can see I have 30 years experience in the business. Now, today is your tour, right? And the rules are, there are no real rules. <laughs> you understand me? Like that? Because it's your day. While I might have stuff on the itinerary, mm -hmm. and to place a point out, if you see anything of interest, you need to stop me and say, hey, see, please stop, I need to get a photo of that. Or I need oh, to okay. take a look at that. Okay. Right? So that's what I mean by no rules. It's your time. Okay. Right? And there's no real restriction on any side in terms of the time. You know, it's just that I don't want you to rub yourself of seeing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, yes, the other thing. The other thing. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. Is anyone on any medication? I don't want to know the purpose of it. I just want to know the time. Because Tobago has a way of disorienting your mind. So when you see the beauty of the place, you might take off again. So all I will have to do is to remind you, hey, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, your medication. Don't tell me what's the purpose. Right? We're on the Belmont Road, we are going over onto the Caribbean side. We are currently now, we are just on the Atlantic side. Oh. So when you see that the case, oh. that's the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, that okay. yeah. Is there a difference in them, color or anything? Yeah, the, the, the Caribbean side is more um, turquoise color, turquoise, sorry, oh, okay. and pretty and blue. And it's much more calmer as compared to the Atlantic side, which is more windy and stuff like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. And some of the best beaches are from the Caribbean side. That's good to hear. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the Atlantic side, is that where the transatlantic slave trade was? Yes, that's okay. where most of the Atlantic side. But we would have had some bitter wars on this side, the Caribbean side. Between the French, there was a French combined team, French and, and Dutch against the British, somewhere in 1666. Yeah. And the British defeated them. And that's one of the reasons why they called Bloody Bay, Bloody Bay. But they said, yeah, they oh. said it was a bloody massacre around oh, no. that time. Oh, okay. yeah. Tobago is the best island in the Caribbean, and I'm gonna stand up with that. <laughs> right? And I have my backings for that. You recorded me with that still, right? Yeah. yeah I have no problem with that. I'm gonna tell you why. Look at all the Caribbean islands that you know of. Look at where we are located. We are the southernmost part of the chain of Caribbean islands. We are at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Why would those countries live so far? Europe, England, France. 
Denmark to come to Tobago to fight for 116 square miles of land. <laughs> Think about that. So many times we would have changed hands, over 30 times we would have changed hands. So there has to be something remarkable, something outstanding about Tobago. Mm. Don't you agree? Mm. Yeah, because look at the size of the travel, look at what they travel. Why didn't they not stop at, at, at Jamaica, those other islands, and fight for those islands? But mm. they come right down here and look at the size of the island. There must be of some interest. Some people say it's the fertility of the land. Yeah, I was going to ask. Yeah, some people it? say it's the, the, the way we are geographically located, you know, and stuff like that. But I want to believe the fertility of the land. Okay. Yeah. And does Tobago have oil and stuff like Trinidad does? Uh, that's a controversial subject mm. and I'm going to uh, be very <laughs> diplomatic with that <laughs> one, right? What has happened is that, or what, what is reality, mm -hmm. Trinidad does not have much geographical uh, uh, marine borders the, the, okay. the, as compared to Tobago. So oh. most of the gas drilling and the oil drilling it's actually done in the Tobago waters when you look at the maritime borders uh, so there has always been a controversy whether it's Trinidad or Tobago uh, but what is a fact is that Trinidad uh, they do the production of the oil they man uh, do the process there the refineries down there mm -hmm. but the oil is actually mainly from in the Tobago waters and there's no doubt about that if you look from where you stay now if you come up where I'm living at the higher elevation and you look out at sea you are going to see the oil rigs at night well lit up so it tells you definitely they are in Tobago waters uh, yeah that's the reality right? I don't want to get too deep into it because it can become a political issue you know? <laughs> it is a political issue already mm. right? it's not that I believe in the Twin Island Republic State yeah. I do not discriminate with Trinidad I tell you because we are one island yeah. one nation sorry, with two, two islands yeah. Yeah. And when I promote Tobago I do promote Trinidad but tell me where in the world would you see a pitch lake? Mm -hmm. <laughs> tell me where in the world. Uh, tell me where in the world a steel band uh, rehearsal is like an actual concert. Mm -hmm. Tell me where in the world you see Limbo dancing and the Mocker Jumbie like that. Mm -hmm. Tell me where in the world that has the biggest roundabout record in Trinidad. Yes. So that's facts about Trinidad people that yeah. we take for granted. Yeah, yeah. the roundabout, yeah. That's yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the Savannah. The Savannah. Yeah, we want the Savannah. That's yeah, the biggest. Yeah. That's the, in the Guinness Book of Records. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Biggest roundabout. Biggest roundabout in the world. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So you see how Trinidad is very important to be, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yeah, right. How did they become a, a republic? Like the two islands, where they joined in, in, together. In 1889, they became one when okay. the British, uh, the British seen in Trinidad to be in 1889, mm. and then. After we became a republic in 19, uh, uh, independent nation in 1962, and 1976 we became a republic. Uh, yeah. And we have the Westminster government system where we have a president. It's more ceremonial. He doesn't have a no real authority okay. in terms of you know making. He just assent to the rules that are passed by the parliament, right. and he just puts his stamp. He or she, but in yeah. this case, it's a she, Christine Kangaloo. Yeah. Okay. That's the second woman president we have. Oh, wow. uh, we have as president in the republic. Most of the other guys, the people were men. Uh, yeah. Uh, Tobago is run by what is called the Tobago House of Assembly, which was established in 1980. Right? 1980 it was established, mm -hmm. and it mirrors the the, the the ministries in Trinidad. So where in Trinidad you have a minister, a ministry of education. In Tobago, you have the Division of Education, oh, okay. and you have the Ministry of Agriculture, you have the Division of Agriculture, and in Trinidad, these ministries are run by ministers, mm -hmm. and in Tobago, they are run by secretaries. Okay. Yeah. The population is just approximately 60,000 people. 60,000? 60, yeah, most of which are African descent. Oh, okay. Yeah. Do you know where in Africa or you just African descent? Well, 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 black people. If you come mm -hmm. all over, mm -hmm. uh, as, as we on that, what we've noticed over the last, let's say, two years after post COVID, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of African bloggers and a lot of YouTubers from Africa mm -hmm. actually are coming to Tobago. I don't know if you follow 
uh, African Tigers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, because well, she was at my place. I did a oh, video with me. Yeah, oh. recently, yes, yeah, she came. She did a very expensive video for my place, and we have a lot of them coming here. So yeah, we have I know Wodemeyer of... was here as well. Yeah, Wodemeyer. Yeah. yeah. So we have the. A lot of Nigerian doctors and stuff. They, they, when they come to Tobago, they feel at home. Mm. With Tobago, they feel like Tobago is part of Africa. Mm. You know. What about the economy? Most of um, the money is from tourism here. Tourism, yeah, tourism, okay. at a large scale. And tourism. We have a lot of people who work in the public sector as well. Mm -hmm. And people who work in the public sector and in the tourism sector, okay. the private sector. They will do their normal jobs in the day mm -hmm. and then go to the hotels after to work in the night as a waitress you know an accountant something of the sort yeah, but okay. tourism has come for a large portion of it okay. this is the mid second yeah, school, yeah, school. Yeah, school is it mixed or boys girls yeah it's mixed, it's mixed. Okay. we don't have any all uh one a single sex school at all oh. yeah. Mason Hall Village. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We have Craig Hall, we have Harmony Hall. The whole, they say it was the whole family that was here. Uh -huh. They named the different villages after, you know. Uh -huh. So one was Craig, one was Harmony, Mason, uh -huh. you know. Uh, were they black, white? They said they were mixed. Uh, okay. One of the theories in Mason Hall, too, they say that the, the Mason Hall has a lot of Freemason. That's just. Mm -hmm. People uh, in the, the occult system. Mm. Yeah. 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 And interestingly, our Prime Minister, the only beloved Prime Minister, is from this village. Oh. Dr. Peter Jolly. Man of impeccable standard. It's just, trust me, I, he has that. I don't care what nobody wants to say. He has good, impeccable standards. Moral values are very high. So we are actually going on to. The north side road now we came to the belmont road so we are going on to the north side road which connects you to villages such as castara palatavir moria ranimid and those places tobago has a lot of singularities in terms of like things that we do for instance we have this village just celebrated the harvest festival have you ever heard about the harvest do you know that would you believe that you can just walk into someone's house who doesn't know and get a free plate of food, a free drink of whiskey, rum, wow. beers like that on a Sunday. Do you believe that can happen to you? Wow. You just show up <laughs> and you are treated like royalty, like if they had known you before, long before. Mm -hmm. That happens in Tobago. Yeah. It's called the Harvest Festival. It starts with a church service at a particular church in the particular village. And then from the church, you go about socializing in the village. By different friends. Friends will go by friends, we know that that's a fact that like, you can't get away from that. Yeah. But apart from that, you can just show up at a house and, and be treated like if they had known you long before. Mm -hmm. They'll just, oh. yeah, just welcome you. What's the Harvest Festival for? What does it stand it's for? A cel it's a celebration of, you know, you having worked in the field, you bring your stuff to harvest. Uh, so it's yeah. a, like a Thanksgiving. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah, because some of the produce from the garden are taken to the church to be blessed. And some people sell. And some people just give away at the oh, end of the day. Okay. Yeah. It sounds similar to what we experienced in Africa. Mm -hmm. Like you could, oh. if people are eating in the shop or whatever, they would just come and ask you, do you want to sit down? Do you want to eat? That's how it is, isn't it, mum? Yeah. Very accommodating. Yeah. Right. So nice. maybe that's the roots that's from Africa. Yeah, carried over. Yeah. 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 It's possible. Does um, Tobago have a patois? Yeah, I'll take it a dialect about the stuff. Yeah. Don't give it a no. <laughs> you don't like what I just said. No. <laughs> <laughs> I will get a dialect with ten people, and I will. Ah, okay. I, I, that's a, that's not jumping because that's a segment that I do. Ah, I'm okay, coming back okay. up. You know? <laughs> Tobago is also known for a lot of festivals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Apart from the Harvest Festival, we have what is called the Heritage Festival. And the Heritage Festival it runs from the 15th or 16th of July each year. And climaxes on the first of August, which is emancipation. So each village will depict some of the things that would have transpired in the past. So this village in particular, they do the old time wedding. So people come to this village to see how the old time wedding was done. So they have a street parade and you know stuff like that. But what does an old time wedding look like? 
they used to parade the street. They used to have what is called a village Mako. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that Mako is a, a kind of inquisitive person mm -hmm. who will just go around to listen if there is anything that you know. There is a time in the wedding the, the minister will say, "Is there anyone with any information why these two will not be yeah, joined together?" No, yeah. And the village Mako will talk out and say she was with another guy and oh, okay, yeah, okay. so they, they kind of reenact these things. Um, yeah, yeah, in it, yeah, and they will be on the street parading. With the, the what we call now suitcase, mm -hmm. they call it grip. So you're gonna get a chance to see that when we go to the Golden Heritage Museum. That's one of our stops. Oh, okay. Things that they used to use long ago. Oh, okay. uh, it's a grip. Now we say suitcase. When we have borrow borrow week in Trinidad, yeah. there's a time to be and have that time. And have the right the wedding. The wedding. You see, you oh, know, the wedding. Be nice. oh. So you are point girl shops. Um, Labre, nah, man, close good, to point. Good, good place. <laughs> Pitch I mean, Lake. I, when I say good place, I love those places oh. away from the, the, the city. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Labre, you always find me being attracted to. You know. I'm close to the Pitch Lake. Okay. So you do Pitch Lake towards the <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The other thing, the sun was too hot. <laughs> sure. yeah. Wow. What about the weather? Like, do you have a rain? Yeah, we have two seasons, mm -hmm. the wet and the dry. Okay. So the dry season starts at the 1st of December mm -hmm. to the 30th of June, the preceding year. So the dry season began December last year, mm -hmm. and it's going to end on June. So the 1st of July to the 30th of November is the rainy season. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what we have discovered uh, over the years that it has changed uh, in 2010, mm -hmm. the dry season was so pronounced that they had us extend it up, you know, from the calendar, normal calendar running. Mm -hmm. It went right down because it was so pronounced, so hot and dry, mm -hmm. that the Minister of Agriculture had us to declare the dry season, an extension uh -huh. on the dry season. Wow. So we're coming up on the first stop. Right, it's there. Come baby. So you put your sunglasses on the Good day, good day. Yeah. Okay. What we have here today. We're from uh, the UK. UK? Yeah. Well, my mum, she was born in Trinidad. Yeah. But we're here visiting. Trinidad, UK. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> How long have you been here? Since birth? 74 years. 74 years, wow. Yeah. wow. You're looking good and strong. <laughs> <laughs> also, they were taking in a view. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. oh. lovely. Lovely. So you went in the toilet? No, no, no. Oh, yeah, well, let's go play and see. That's the low of the view. Really? Okay, let me go see. The low with the view. Oh, okay. Let me go see. Oh, okay. <laughs> Oh wow, look at that. Oh, wow. Hold that a sec, Mum, let me adjust the. <laughs> it's so high. It is so high, isn't it? High in the mountain. High in the mountain. We're higher than a mountain. Oh wow. And that's a mountain, that's a mountain. Did you see the ocean? Yeah, that's a mountain and that's a mountain. Yeah, I wonder what that is. Okay. Oh, so <laughs> okay.
Okay, we're ready. We're ready, yes. First, let me welcome you all to Golden Heritage Museum. Thank you. Golden Heritage all these things that you're seeing here are things that we use from in the 50s, 40s, you know, mm -hmm. all the time. Mm -hmm. This is older than most of us here. Wow. All oh. of us age mixed together. It's older. It's a good amount of Yeah. Yeah, you so ground things. Yeah, yeah. Corn. You know, Planting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. What do you call it? Tom, Tom. Uh, planting. Yeah, the planting. Corn is called Sam Sam. Sam Sam. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they know in Trinidad you say chili bibi. Chili bibi. But in Tobago we know it as Sam Sam. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right? Okay. Either pong it or something, they use this mill and you grind it. Um. Grind the corn. When you grind it, it's going to come as fine as it's a point. Okay. It's a huge pan. We have here. Anyone you want to tell me what this is? You want to try it out. Of course. <laughs> what is that? It's like a garlic bread. It's a snow cone. Oh, yes. Right. Uh, so this is what we use to make snow cone with long. Yeah. Uh, right? This is also... I was, I was just telling her about it last night. For <laughs> the mosquitoes. Right. This is what you use to use the flit. See, yeah. Mark Lucky. Uh. <laughs> yeah. 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 Again, I'm going to show you one. The irons, mm. different type of irons. This is coals. I put coals in here. Oh, okay. I call that a goose. A goose. Yeah, a long time, you have to be rich to have that. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> You have to be rich or fortunate. Uh, Let me say fortunate. Uh -huh. Everybody rich. Yeah. Right? Yeah. This is gas. You put the gas in here and you pump it. Oh. And light it. Iron. Iron. That's the gas iron. You see, there's a domestic gas. Remember that blue gas that you're using this? Yeah, okay. And you know the mantle? Remember the mantle? A little white bag, there's a tie. And tie up below here and light this. Yeah, the little bag you put below there and I light it up. Yeah, I should have made it. It's a magic. Yeah. The typewriter. Yeah, so we have the typewriter <laughs> to the back here. The tick, tick, tick. We also have a little lower down here. You will see telegram machine. Oh, wow. I'm going to use the send messages with you. Now you have a phone, everybody have a phone. Yeah. Right? We don't even type again the text. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is hand. Oh. Hand machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, that was before, before we put yeah. the pedal. Oh, right, right, right. And women used to make it's wedding similar. dresses and all this. Yeah. yeah. Everything. Wow. Wow. So just to cover up from here. So oh, okay. These scales, what? These scales can't ever go wrong. They can't go wrong because they have ounces and pounds. Right? You put the scale, the um, weights on it, mm -hmm. and then you just put whatever into it. On. Yeah. So if you didn't get the weight, you just move the, this piece here. So this will go down to whenever, whenever it will go down or whatever. So you have all the options marked. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, this is a grip. 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Know your suitcase. Yeah, yeah. Right? Great. And this it was so hard. The hard I once said that. But even though you jump in the sea, you can't sink. Nothing can do it. <laughs> wow. So that was they use a hybrid boat, paper and we mm. navel string and all that thing long time. People don't even keep navel string again. And they don't because they don't know how important it was. What is that navel string? Huh? Navel. Oh, yeah. The navel navel string. Oh, okay. When they think that. Oh, that. Yeah. The, 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 the spiritual world, you call that alabasca oil. When you put that in oil, okay. and what the woman had anointed Jesus with it. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> this is a goblet. What's a goblet? Put water in it. Okay. And when you put water oh, in that, it rains cool. Ah. <laughs> Not cool, but cool. Oh, yeah. Right? Jesus, mm. money is. This is our money. You know? It's at the five and it's at the ten and seven. Oh, wow. Yeah. Everything in here has value. Every money in here has plenty of value. Right? Plenty. This is what our drivers from the two say. A book. So when you go with that, the magistrate you soon sign the ticket. When you go, when you get a ticket, no, you get your ticket on the road, or you magistrate you soon. Market normal. Interesting. <laughs> wow. right? So all these are monies that we use here in our time too. From the cent, the penny, pound, shilling, and pence. This is English. Like when we was under the English rule. Mm. Right? Mm. This is a dollar here. Look, we also have a two dollars here. Mm -hmm. Right? That is when we were the Caribbean, the whole Caribbean. You see, it was one currency. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. What we call that Jamaica and Eric Williams. That was the machine up. Oh, really? Yeah. The Caribbean used to have all one yeah. currency. Mm -hmm. you know, but the, Eric yeah. Williams in Jamaica, yeah, after Jamaica, that, it. They were the master. two that were, they were Jamaican and Trinidad and all those other. Yeah, always have some kind of other thing, even mm. in the cricket. Uh, that's not good. No. Yeah, but since then, Jamaica and Jordan. Hmm. This is a wedding we do. That is our wedding. The, the old wedding, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So what we do every year, but Mariah, this party called Follow and Mariah. Okay. Right? And um, we do it every year as a heritage. Right? Uh -huh. Which we depict something that we are called, that we do. You know? Something that we do in the villages. Mm -hmm. You know? So it was just around independent when um, Eric Williams, after we got independent, he said, let every village do something. And every village comes, okay, me. Mm -hmm. We're trying out that village comes, and we did the old time fashion wedding and all games we used to play and mm -hmm. different things. And that's why we. Are different. Oh, okay. <laughs> and try that and we all of that different culture. It has oh, different culture. Right, right. It is. Yeah. But they were were they all one people at one point, Trinidad and Tobago? Well um Trinidad and Tobago only become Trinidad and Tobago was of Queen Elizabeth. Oh. We were if you if I take a picture of this time, when you go you will read it. Yeah. Um we were we were Tobago, Barbados, and Grenada. We were one governor. But Trinidad was linked with Venezuela. Yeah. But because of the time, the yeah, Amonga time they fought the war. Going 35, 36 times. Tobago being Jews, you know, and French, Dutch, Bishop. Mm. So the queen after called being that they were the head, I say, okay, let me put Tobago onto Trinidad. Ah. And that stayed there. And that was what here? That was since in the early 13 something. Yeah. Yeah. 
I was gonna say I can hear a slight Bayesian accent when the driver's speaking, Chris. Yeah. I thought his accent sounded oh, like slightly, slightly, slightly Bayesian. Well, because we are, and we have. Well, I think he will give you all that language. Mm. I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. We have our own dialect. Mm -hmm. Also, can say what we want. Right. It's broken French. Yeah, I was asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's okay, right. Because so it's not Trinidadian, it's not Trinidadian sound. Trinidad do more broken Spanish, they do Spanish. Mm. We do French. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. But French will go with us. Yeah. Oh, he's a come here and catch turtles. We go back because turtles always are, are, are rich meat. Um. And more turtles live within Tobago and Trinidad. Oh, okay. Interesting. Mm -hmm. That's why we put a ban. But um, somebody came here and he entered all that in, in California. You have to pay plenty of money for it. Mm. Same to him. Because of the rich vitamin. Mm. Interesting. So, because of that, that's why we were placed with them. Mm. And this is why we have a place that we were called even Governor House Road. I don't know if you're aware about that. They were where the governors used to stay. Okay. But now it's the presidents that when they come to Tobago, they're where they stay. Uh, is that bicycle license? A bicycle governor, license? Governor busy, right? Why would you need a bicycle license? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they need that in London. Oh, that's yeah. true. Some people need that. <laughs> yeah, we had license. Oh, wow. Up to be a license. And this is the receipt. Oh. Uh, this is received that is license. You had a guy license. You oh, also had a cigar license to play this radio. Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. it's like TV license. Yeah. yeah. So, so this radio, this radio, what, what we use, uh, this radio, we were um, short wave and medium wave. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't AM and FM as yeah. we have now. Yeah. Oh. It was a short wave, medium wave. So here we could have picked up Australia, England. Oh. With that, but it was using a battery. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Battery. Yeah. And wow. Had, like, some big tubes in it, and wow. You know, now is everything is electronic. Yeah. It's very easy and fast. Yeah. These wow. are slits. This is what we used to write on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, then I know. Yeah, but when you finish with this now, you add us out. You will sit. Yeah, one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. well, now we have a computer where you put. Yeah. Long time everybody saw them make their own cup. So uh, you take the milk tin uh, and make your own cup. Can you get it down? Yeah. You make your own cup. Okay. The yeah. Oh. yeah, the condensed milk, and you just cut it up and then make your own cup. Wow. Yeah. That's creative. <laughs> I'll tell you, we had, we, it was different. Mm -hmm. It was really different. Oh. It's not that we were poor, it was for the way out. Mm. <laughs> you had us eat or eat now, a, a banana leaf. Yeah, you said or, that, yeah. Or the tiny leaf, or, you know? Yeah. You get that and you fold it in a nice way. And we have this carrier. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So you say put food in it. Uh, you keep your food warm. Ah, uh, okay. You should keep your food warm all day because of the enamel. Mm. Because the enamel is not like, well, this one here. Oh, that is a big cup. <laughs> this is a big cup. <laughs> it's a menu, it's a menu to drink in this. Uh, <laughs> Men used to drink it full of chocolate tea. Wow. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. but, uh, one of the things about this is that long ago, you know, we had cocoa, a lot of cocoa mm -hmm. in Tobago. All our cocoa. Mm -hmm. Because our hurricane flora, we don't have it again. Hurricane flora had destroyed that. Hurricanes are very dangerous. Uh. Because of these. The, the men who used to go and buy cocoa mm -hmm. is it's a robust. Oh. Well, they had a scale with a hook yeah. where they put it in the bag there and then 
But you can read that markings so and they tell you 50 pounds when they're done is about 100 pounds. Mm -hmm. So there is a rubbers. Mm -hmm. So what we used to do with this? It's a five pound of cocoa. Uh, so we used okay. to measure with cocoa for this. Uh, right? This one was two and a half and this one was a pound. Uh, <laughs> That's clever. Yeah, that's also, we used to measure our own cocoa. Yeah. So by the time they come, they couldn't rob us. Try and add on to make us set up the best cocoa in the world. Mm -hmm. ah, I didn't know that. Yeah, the richest cocoa. Sun, every, 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 every beach in Tobago carries a different color oh. sun. Oh, really? You know that they are one here and one there, the sun will be a different color. Every but that is raw sulfur. Yeah. Oh, you can't use that. Mm. <laughs> I'll cut your skin. You see that hole on the bottle? Oh. Before you rot in the bottle, the heat. Oh. Oh, what caused that hole in that bottle? Oh, wow. Hey, that, mm. that, that, that coal iron is it, it's taking me back to my childhood because I, I, I used to iron all the coal iron in the village. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, similar, but but um, you you open it and then you pour coal in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. Coal. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. 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 He's from Ghana. Huh? So they used to, he's from Ghana. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Yeah. Even know that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Call it a goose. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> this is board band and the scrubbing board. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to go down the river and wash your clothes. Yeah, yeah, Put yeah. Put your yeah. blue soap here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then scrub. Okay. Oh, that's what mom tells me. That's what mom tells me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, nice. Yeah, you cook your boom or you have to scrub. Oh, yeah, I know that. Yeah, yeah. Do you look easy? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's so good. It's so effective. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's so much of meaning, too. Mm -hmm. Plenty yeah. meaning. What meaning? And what's your name just so we can tell our viewers so they Mr. can come? Broom. Mr. Broom. 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 Mr. Broom. Mr. Broom. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. You know, yeah, yeah. You could see the name. Yeah, I took it yeah. um, outside. And one last thing before you go. Well, you didn't sign the book. Oh, okay. Oh, Where is yeah. it? Yeah. Sign it. Where is it? Right, and um, that one is this is your thing? The bottom there. Mm -hmm. That's your sign, right? And your number? Yeah. Okay. And the word to the bottom is what? Pull your ebony. And what's that? Mm -hmm. What does it mean? Yeah. She becomes more beautiful. Oh, ah. Uh, yeah, it's on that. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lovely, thank you so yeah, much. Okay, thank you. Again. Okay, bye. Yeah, you will. Mm -hmm. yeah. Shelly, that was good. Mm -hmm. yeah, that was a that good first stop. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is nice. Yeah? Yeah, Mum, do you want to try? That's sugar cane juice. On the famous silk cotton tree. Oh. The yeah. famous what? Silk cotton Silk tree. cotton oh, this tree. One here. Uh, yeah. It's big. It's really oh. big and it's just like at the edge of the cliff. Just like yeah, that. Oh God, yeah, just, just like that. that. Oh, look how oh, close we are. Yeah, yeah, let me film it. Wow.
that there was a lady named Kangan Sera. Kangan Sera. from Africa. Right? And she would have eaten salt and didn't know that this, the salt would have affected her flight ability. So when she attempted to fly back to Africa. Yeah. yeah. She fell to her death to the bottom of the tree. That is crazy because yeah. you watched a video about a white woman saying that black people used to be able to fly yeah. so and you, then they use salt yeah. to stop that yeah. ability. ability to fly. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. if you go into the folklore and type in the uh, story behind the country to be able to come and get that same story. Oh. 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 About the Africa. It's a tree that no one can interfere with. You cannot cut it. But yes, so there are a lot of spirits that happen around the tree. Um, there are spirits, mm, okay. right? So if you attempt to trim the tree in any way, you're not going to fear cut. Um. Yeah. No, it's all right. <laughs> Yeah. Kelly said it looks like it's just moving in slow motion and it really does look like that. Mm -hmm. Of the tree yes, the other day, yes. oh, oh, at the pitch, at the pitch leg. This is the, uh, the sugar. And hmm? Hmm. 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 Hmm.
What's that? The, um, the mango. Mango. Yeah. Mango, yeah. Mm. I like it. Mm-hmm. Good morning, China. Oh, you didn't have to. You said this is the green one. Yeah. It's green. Oh. Mm-hmm. This is so nice. Yeah. Very sweet, but nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's true, though. Yeah. There's, like, little gaps in the fruit. Even the houses in there.
raining guys we're experiencing our first rain i think first rain in tobago yeah first rain in tobago one of you which one's going to be brave 